All right, the next one there is battery switch. I'm going to turn that on. Okay, the generator switch we're going to leave off because I have a power cart hooked in, so I don't need the DC generators. All right, the next thing we want to do is turn on our hydraulic pump. Okay. Let that cycle. pressure. Okay, we're going to set the parking brakes now. You know how to work the brakes on this? The toes of the pedal. Push them and hold them. Okay? Now we release them. Alright, that sets the parking brakes. Okay? Alright, you can go ahead and turn that hydraulic pump off now. I don't need to listen to that cycle all day. Okay, warning lights. We need to test them. Okay? The way we test our warning lights, it says warning lights, test bright. Okay? There's a switch here that says uh, caution test, dim and bright. Push that to bright and hold it. Okay, look, it's bright. Push it forward and hold it. All right, my master cautions come on. My enunciator panel comes on. I've got three green on my landing gear. Okay, that's my warning lights. Okay, okay, we've been notified. All right, what we do to do this, we turn that engine master switch on. All right, everything's live here now. And you push that, push and hold that red button. Yep. Okay, we got RPMs moving. Seven percent, eight percent, nine percent, ten percent. There's eleven percent. We have to put that in idle. Okay, now wait for it. Our red lights on.
on you. It'll stop. All right. I'm just sitting there for a minute. When you move that throttle, if you go rapidly with it, it's not going to take off. you got to wait for it. So if you kind of just go a little bit, you go 1,001, 1,002, 1,000, you know. It takes a little while for it to get up there. And then you come back, same thing. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. you got to wait on it. Okay, that's your acceleration deceleration. Anyway, if you're ready to shut it down, I think we're ready to chop the power on this. Just going straight back. Alright, that shuts it off. Our EGT is dropping. Our RPMs are coming down. I'm going to shut off anti-collision because that's kind of noisy. And then now we get here, it starts to bounce. Okay, if you watch your RPM, it's compressor's losing its efficiency. It's not compressing any air. Okay. And then as it spools down, it's still at 4. It'll sit here and kind of hover a little bit. And then it'll get to around 2. You'll hear it start to rattle. Kind of hear it now? All right. It's really loud outside. That's the normal shutdown noises. You're supposed to hear that. Okay. <coughs> All right. Got that. Now what we need to do is go in reverse order and turn our engine master off. Our hydraulic pump is already off. We don't need to turn that back on. Our inverter we can shut to the center position. All right, uh, and that collision I already turned off. The next one's the battery switch, that goes off. Center position, um, then my radio master.